there are, I suggest, three different general lines of evidence. There's some evidence that people who are now living had lived before and therefore survived that death. The second category is evidence that some people who we now know have died are still around and still living in some form. That also implies that people survive bodily death. And the third line of evidence suggests that the mind can function independent of the brain. Now that does not require that we survive death, but it makes it possible. If mind did not function independent of brain, then obviously we could not survive bodily death.